The High Five Sports Atlanta Falcons Game of the Week is presented by Montlake Injury Attorneys. These guys are a good team. They're a good program. They've always won and know how to win. Looking to the end zone and caught. I'm always excited for our kids to get exposure any kind of way. It puts you in a play playoff environment, you know, uh, early on in the season so that when you get to those games, you kind of know how to respond in those big games. Yeah, it's a clash of titans in this state. Cedar Grove defending state champs in 3A, currently ranked tops in Georgia. And then you've got Westlake, number nine in 7A. And then we knew we were in for a treat tonight at the Lions Den. Justin Felder has our High Five Sports Game of the Week. One, two, three. Hey, down there. That's fast. Don't dot the door, man. It's going to be a show tonight. 7A Powerhouse Westlake defending 3A state champ Cedar Grove. These two schools have never played each other before. Hey, let's do it every year. This was fun. First quarter, Saints wasted no time. Quarterback EJ Colson keeps it. He scores 7-0. Saints on top. To the second, it's the QB again. Colson showing off the wheels. His second rushing touchdown of the game. You think he's fired up? They don't want it like that. Yeah. They don't want it like that. 14 -0. Nothing Saints, but here come the Lions on the punt. It is blocked. Westlake gets the ball in great field position, and they had a great alum watching. Falcons corner AJ Terrell, front row seat to watch his former school and his younger brother. Check this out. Jabari Jones finds Avion Terrell. Yeah, that's AJ's younger brother. He's committed to Clemson too. You can see why. Good hands run in the family. Lions down 14-7 at the half. Start of the second half. Cedar Grove got a quick safety, and on the ensuing kickoff. This is Barry Jackson. The Nebraska commit takes it and takes off with a convoy of Saints down the sideline. A kickoff return for a touchdown. Westlake coach Rico Zachary cannot believe it. It's 23 to 7. Later in the third quarter, EJ Colson to Jackson again. His second score in a matter of minutes. And you know Barry Jackson is in your face. It's 30 to 7. Westlake not going to go quietly, but late in the fourth quarter, Lions had to go for it on fourth down and Jakir Horton pulls in the game clinching interception. Cedar Grove in the first ever meeting between these powerhouses comes out on top. All right, so Cedar Grove, your game of the week winners 30 to 20 the final. I'm joined by wide receiver Barry Jackson, two touchdowns in the second half. What was the key to this one, man? It was, it was a tough one, two good teams. I say the key was hard work. I couldn't do this without my team, without my quarterback and my lineman. And I want to also thank my special team for the other touchdown that I did. Offense, defense, special teams, they did it all tonight. We welcome in Coach John Adams. And you guys plan on playing for a real long time. What are you going to remember? What do you want your guys to remember about this win? Um, it's kind of like a street win right here. These guys all grew up together, played ball together. So really good win. Uh, we're going to celebrate, man, and get ready for Collins Hill next week. The celebration starts right now. Cedar Grove, your Hot Bath Sports Game of the Week winners. Hold it up. Yeah. Doesn't get easy.